everyone and welcome back to my channel Haro Hobby Gaming and in this episode of If Echoes I'm gonna review one last faction battleships and let's take a look where this is from ship 3 and let's go to the Sansha Nation yes um, this is Nightmare from Sansa Nation and they are favorable for their ships which is like uh, needle and box and you can see on the frigates this is Sagabus they are more like um, something like bugs uh, i don't know what bug is this but they have specialty for lasers and for afterburner velocity bonus and plus five percent shield um for the afterburner velocity bonus it will be different it's of the ships of sansha nation I mean, for the frigates, cruiser, and the battleship, they have different bonuses, but they still the same afterburner and shield. And their specialty is they can fit shield filled modules. So even frigates can be equipped by shield filled modules like this. And this is the Pandasm, the cruiser. Uh, you can see they have plus 25 percent after the velocity bonus so there is differences five percent between succubus and pantheism and here we are we are flying this ship this terrifying ships of battleships nightmare the bonuses was 30 percent okay so here is this, the sunshine nation ship and now let's take a look at the attributes and trait of these ships nightmare shansha battleships it is the full shape of this nightmare this is really terrifying ship it will scare all of your enemies <laughs> with its shape. There is needles over here, over there, and uh, <laughs> okay. Now let's go to the trade description. Nightmare weather ships. So for the first roll bonus, it can fit shield filled modules. It was a defensive modules that makes you and your friend have a higher resistance i mean shield resistant and there are another type like this with this armor link modules but you must have a role bonus for that to equip that so it will be guardian like prophecy guardian or myrmidon guardian so you can have a armor link modules but it worked differently for shield field modules and armor link modules okay next the next bonus was advanced large laser operation bonus per level it got plus 10 percent large laser damage up to 50 percent large laser damage that's big and plus 7.5 percent large laser tracking speed up to plus 37.5 percent large laser tracking speed if you got your advanced large laser operation level 5 and for the next bonus was this is the specialty of sansha nation 2 advanced battleship command bonus per level plus 30 percent afterburner velocity bonus so it up to plus 150 percent afterburner velocity bonus so um, i think the 
afterburner will be same like microbob drive when it's up equipped to Sansha nation ship and plus five percent shield this is meaning plus five percent shield amount of your ship so it's up to plus 25 percent shield if you got advanced battleship command level five Ooh, so that is nice okay now let's go to the attributes nightmare power grid output 13,081 megawatt it can equip two large drone six weapon three middle slots seven low slots that's crazy so you can be a full tanker if you have nightmare it can equip seven low slots you can equip all of them with defense modules and three combat tricks and three navigation tricks the cargo hold capacity was 1330 meter cubic and our base defense was at 97,663 and you can see our shield amount is the biggest among all our shield base was 31,998 the resistance was electromagnetic 0% thermal 20% kinetic 40% and explosive 55% so mm, okay it's upgraded a little by five percent at explosive our armor sit at twenty four thousand twenty hundred and two hundred and thirty one and structure at twenty three thousand and eight hundred thirty five and this is the nice one you can look at that capacitor sixteen thousand eight hundred and 60,589 gigajoules and our capacitor recharge time at 988 seconds our max capacitor recharge rate at 41.98 gigajoules per second max lock target 7 sensor strength oh it it a bit it it's good sensor strength 31.8 scan resolution 101 and flight velocity 121 ms <coughs> okay now let's take a look at how the fitting was this is this is what the fitting look at i'm trying maybe not the best fit for fleeting but this is because we are trying to do it with solo so i'm gonna try with solo build for high slot we got centus c type large blazer um, this is the close range but it still got range about 31.5 kilometer and our activation time was at 7 85 second because this is defense ship and it it doesn't have uh, maybe activation time bonus or I don't equip any weapon rigs so the activation like an optimal or maybe the damage will be standard with bonus from the ship and from my skills and for the notes my skills are arm max with lasers and everything so it will be 555 for advanced basic and expert for operation and upgrade okay we got six of them for pulse laser and this is the gc type large shield field mode so you can see uh this is have an activation time about 30 seconds 
reactivation delay 15 second optimal range about 22.5 kilometers and silt resistant when activated 59 <coughs> percent and when you can see there is full consumption it is 1200 gigajoules it differs with capacitor and we will explain it to you later what is this full con consumption okay for the next because we are short range i'm gonna use predator stasis webifier two times and this is large drone mk7 ogre now for the low slots this is the defensive low slots <laughs> centus c type large afterburner so you can see our flight velocity adjustment was about five hundred and eight percent because of our bonus that's crazy okay and now for next was protector large shield extender this is to increase our base shield by four thousand and seven hundred and it will have an additional shield upon activation and additional shield ratio upon activation again so um this is the very defensive ship and i'm bringing three of these large shield extenders so we can cycle one by one and we will never run out of shield extender but i still bring the centus c type large shield booster if we need to repair our shield and this is the pitch type adaptive invulnerability field i got two of them so we will raise our shield resistant to maximum okay for now the rigs yeah you can see there is no combat i mean weapon rigs on here this is core defense field extender 3 this is to give your shield amount bonus by 30 percent and this is anti em screen reinforcer 3 this is to upgrade your shield damage resistance by 40 percent and this is anti thermal screen reinforcer 3 this is to upgrade your shield damage resistance of thermal by 40 <clears> percent <throat> And now for the navigation rigs, this is inertia modifier adjustment. This is because we are going to test this ship solo. We are using capacitor control circuit 3. This is to adjust your capacitor recharge time. Okay, now let's talk about defense. Our base defense after using modules and rigs are you can see the number 241,071 and that is look at that our shield hill point was at 87,187 that's crazy amount of shield hit points and our em resistance was at 40 percent thermal resistance 52 percent kinetic resistance 40 percent and explosive resistance 55 percent so this shield hit point is accumulated for from three shield extender and this one core defense field extender and our skill our skill at battleship defense on this one yeah. 
Battleship Defense Upgrade, Advanced Battleship Defense Upgrade, and Expert Battleship Defense Upgrade. So let's see the Battleship Defense Upgrade level 5. It upgrades your Battleship Shields by 2000. And Advanced Battleship Defense Upgrade, upgrade again your Battleship Shields by 25%. And for expert battleship defense upgrade, it upgrade again your battleship shields by plus twenty. Eh, sorry, plus twelve point five percent. So all of that is accumulated to this shield hit points. So we have crazy amount of shield hit points. And now this is the cold status of <clears throat> the shield resistant. And let's take a look if we turn on our modules. Click, click. This is the adaptive and this is the shield field modules. Click. Okay. Let's see. Wow, nine hundred and thirteen thousand and zero two four. Ah, our shield hit points is not upgraded, but the our shield resistance was crazy. This you can look at our IM resistance eighty nine percent. Thermal resistance ninety one percent, kinetic resistance eighty nine percent, explosive resistance ninety two percent. And if we want to try again with these three modules, let's take a look. Click, click, click. Mm. There's no. <laughs> I don't know. I think there is some error in here or what? There's no additional shield hit point at this rate. Okay. Okay. Now there's the demonstration of our defense. And now let's see how this ship can defense on battle versus that stand i mean tier 10 cool stars rally point let's swap at 30. Okay, let's turn on our adaptive shield and turn on our shield field module. Okay. Nah, mm, you can see if we <coughs> turn on our shield field module, there will be a bubble like this, and every friend of yours or fleet on your fleet will be protected by <coughs> this amount of shield resistance 59 percent upgrade so their their damage will be reduced a lot if you turn on this and your friendship is on this bubble inside this bubble and 
this activation of shield fluid module needs fuel and you can see here we are this is the plasmoids you can search this on the planetary and it's every one of these plasmoid it got fuel about 191 gigajoules so you need about um, maybe uh, let's count it to 10 every activation of shield field modules because we need 100 and uh, i mean 1200 gigajoules so you just can count how much plasmoid we need to run this large shield field module every activation we are gonna burn that plasmoid so okay now let's approach at 30 okay so after we turn on our after manner our maximum velocity or navigation was at 980 ms that's with after burner so it's something like microwave drive but it is with after burner so that's very very nice So you can see how much damage we taking. It's just forty our damage are uh, of course it we doesn't have any high damage but it's still good with this damage we just have six modules of the weapon and it still got five thousand damage that's still nice Oh, almost seven thousand. So we are just taking about one hundred damage. <coughs> Let's try if we turn on turn off our models. Our normal damage was 540. Look at that. 540 and they are missiles. 850. Okay. Now let's turn on again. Boom. So I will repeat this. <clears throat> These shield field modules 
using foil to activate it every cycle and every one of your friendship or your fleet ship will be protected by upgraded shield resistance if they are in this bubble so our range of bubble is at 22.5 kilometers there's there's a good range of bubble and of course they are a lot harder to die if they are on the shield field modules but uh, on the wall you must be careful because if you are nightmare they will targeting you first because if you are exploding i mean if you are or if you die first your friends will be weaker so that's why you will be targeted first nice Boom, nice. So, um, in some way, I mean, if you want, you can change the weapon to beam laser, so you will have more range. I think you will cut about 60 kilometers or so and you can shoot the enemies from afar but because we are solo in here and we want to test our defense maximum I'm gonna test this with pulse laser <clears throat> so I think the maximum damage we receive from the enemies is something like 100 and 50, 140, um, something like that. And that's very nice. Oh, almost 7,000. So that, I think that's the maximum damage. It penetrates. Wait, what smashes? 9,000. Okay. 10,000? Oh, of course. That's the shield we are taking. I'm sorry. So I think um, you can change this shield booster to another shield extender. Maybe because <laughs> it will take a long time or a lot of our capacitor to fill our, our shield amount. 
because average cycle of shield booster amount is 914 and our shield capacity is 87,000 and that's need uh, there's a lot of capacitor So you can see how much it takes every cycle of silk field modules. We are at 9,817. Eh, 9, so it takes six plasmoids every cycle. Let's wait until they got 31 kilometers. Okay. Boom. Oops. So let's see how much damage we are taking. One hundred and forty-four, three hundred. Oh, which one is that? Giving us three hundred damage. <clears throat> Still one hundred and forty four. Ah, that one three hundred and fifty nine. So I think that is the large laser, I mean the large missile launcher. And after our defense, it still have 
they made about 359 so it means they are um, the enemies have attacked about 3000 in cycle Oh, 359. Okay, maybe we must turn off our shield defense. And let's see how much damage we are taking. Oh, 1167. Okay. 810. Eight hundred and ten, one hundred and uh, one thousand. Okay, let's turn on again. Boom. And one hundred and forty-four and three hundred. Okay, so um, our defense resistance is very high and cut your enemy's damage until it drops to 10 percent so it's very nice So maybe you want to change the shield booster to battery to manage your capacitor more and you can turn on every of the shield extender if they are can be activated again and if you are on fleet and you don't need these webs you can change them to this mid slit mid slot and this one group shield booster yeah group shield booster what's the function of this it will it is like shield booster but it is group and this is more like every cycle of large group shield booster it boosts your friends shield by 393 it takes full consumption too or you can change to this group capacitor transmitter it will transfer your energy uh, i mean it will transfer amount of energy to your friends on you know, on this bubble but your friend must be very close because this optimal range is just six kilometers and It fills your friend's capacitor by 307 gigajoule every sec, every 30 seconds. So you can change to another support module if you are on, on fleet. And you can change to large beam laser. So you have you will have more range. Okay, nice.
so we are in the middle of the enemies and usually you don't want that but we are gonna test our defenses Oh, look at that. How strong we are. <laughs> okay, nice. And if you are in fleet, you will have to change one of, I mean, two of these rigs. This capacitor returns time adjustment by this one. You can see on the engineering rigs, navigation rigs. Ah, oh, sorry. This one, warp core optimizer. You need this. So you will have warp chamber strength minus three. It means if you if your enemies have three. Warp disruptor strength or warp scramble strength. You you can still warp into the outer space, and you will need two of these if you are running the nightmare. But because we are on trying this solo, we don't need that. We need. The capacitor recharge adjustment. Okay, so the strategy of the shield extender. You got to activate this one by one, and if this one turn off, turn another one. So you can look after we turn off uh, turn off the last extender we can turn on again our shield extender it is recommended by the developer we are equipped for of this shield extender look at that recommended fittings uh, you can have for large shield extender so you will have infinity shield extender which is nice so you will turn on every other if they are turn off and turn on the other shield extender Look at that, turn off, turn on again. So I think uh, three is enough, but you must have large capacitor battery if you want to manage your capacitor more better. Okay. It's hard to hit. Where's the counter? Oh, this one. Okay, let's approach. Oh, it's still not hit.
<laughs> let our drone kill the enemies and let's change our weapon target to the rifle striker boom it's death With strategy like this on PvE, you will have an infinite shield. Click. Oh. Turn on the another one, shield extender. Let's wait until the cycle wore off and turn on the other one. Okay. Mm -mm. let's see how it takes if we are orbiting them with our afterburner So it won't work. I think it, it doesn't work because if we turn on our shield field modules, our signature radi radius is just by 500%. You can see that signature radius adjustment 500%. So it likes equipping a standard micro warp drive.
Okay, we are almost finished this combat demonstration. So, um, our maximum damage taken was like 300. So, it's, it's nice. If we can cut the, the damage of the enemies by about 9, 90%. So the enemy missiles have all of this damage. I mean, missiles have EM, thermal, kinetic, and explosive. And that's why we are testing against the Caldari. and maybe the next battleship i'm gonna review was this the raven striker now let's take a sneak peek what is the raven striker okay uh for raven they are they have two version of raven there is raven standard and raven striker so what is the differences for Riven? Okay, large missile, torpedo damage, large missile, activation, large missile velocity, and flight velocity. Okay, so what's the differences with Riven Striker? The Riven Striker, oh, they have same uh, bonuses but the striker have special mode seats mode mm, i don't know how much differences in damage for missiles but we already try with apocalypse striker and it upgrades your damage significantly because it upgrades your damage by 100 percent but we must try with Raven Striker, Maelstrom Striker, and Megatron Striker. Let's queue on those ship next time. Okay, we are almost finished here. Oh, nice. Okay, that's it. That's the last of the enemies and this and the combat demonstration of the nightmare. So, what do you think of this nightmare? Um, you can comment and if you like this video, please like and comment to our comment section. And if you want another ship to be reviewed by me, uh, you can request and in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to me or our channel please support us to with subscribe to our channel and that's it thank you for watching my video and let's meet again on our next videos Goodbye.